hotel. And we dropped in my spirit about two o'clock this morning. Amen. This morning, mm, the title of the message this morning is Be Encouraged and Be Faithful. Be Encouraged and Be Faithful. Um, 2 Timothy is the book of the month. Amen. Along with the book of Titus. For us here at Freedom World Outreach Ministries. But I was in this book this week. Amen. And I was just reading. Amen. I was just reading. But but it seemed like there was something in there that God wanted to deal with me. And so he had to wake me up about two o'clock this morning. Amen. So this morning we want to talk about. Be encouraged and be faithful. Timothy was a young pastor. Amen. And Paul wrote the book to encourage him. Those of you that are pastoring, you need somebody to encourage you. Paul was his father in the ministry. And, uh, so, and he was in prison. But he wanted Timothy to know there are things that's going to happen in your ministry and in your life. But I want you to be encouraged. And I want you to be faithful. Be faithful to God. No matter what happens, be faithful to God. And you be encouraged. Amen. amen. Now, it's a lot. Amen. And I guess I need to pull out a specific scripture to deal with, so I, I'm going I'm going to walk through the book. It's not only four chapters, but I'm going to walk through it. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, but the third chapter says, but this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covenants, boastful, boastful, Proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, gay, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From search, turn away. For of this soul are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers lusts. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. And it talks about lying as Janice and Jambu, with good motives, so do these also resist the truth. Men. And I call it Elijah. What persecutions I endured. Jesus. All scripture is given by 
by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. May God bless the reader of this word. In the book of 2 Timothy, that was just the main, I think, the main text of it. But Paul greeted Timothy in the first chapter, letting him know that, that he was the apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus. He said, to Timothy, my dearly beloved son, Grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. He told him, Timothy, you're going to need the grace of God to go through. You're going to need the mercy of God. And you're going to need the peace of God to fulfill your assignment mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as a pastor. There were some that Paul greeted. He greeted them with grace and peace. But to young Timothy, he added the word mercy. Amen. And we all need the grace of God. We cannot do what we do without the grace of God. We cannot do what we do without the mercy of God. We need and we need peace. Because if we don't have peace, we will be filled about everything we do. And the world nowadays is so full of fear. People are afraid to do anything. But we got to know as the people of God that God's grace is sufficient for us. We can be bold. We can live a holy life. And he was telling me, Dear Timothy, you got to live a holy life. You got to set the example. One thing about Paul, he set an example. Everything that he went through, he used it to minister to the people. He used it to minister to Timothy. You see what I have gone through. You see my persecutions. You see my afflictions. You see. 
faith about the work that God had called them to do. And as we have been reading through the New Testament, we have found out and learned that Paul went through a lot of stuff. He endured much persecution from the church and from the Gentiles. He endured much persecution. But he, his mission was to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to the Gentiles and even to his own people that they might be saved because he had a heart for his people. Amen. And he had a heart for the Gentiles that they were coming to the knowledge. And we, we went through Sunday school. The Sunday school we were talking about this morning. God is no respect of person. He wasn't a respectable person in the Old Testament, nor was he in the New Testament. Because there were some people in the Old Testament that came up under the umbrella of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be faithful to Timothy and live holy. Walk in the grace that God has given you. In the name of Jesus. Your divine help come from God. Amen. Your divine help. Our divine help. It's a divine help. It's not a mom and daddy help because the sister brother help because they'll help you if they feel like helping you. If they don't feel like helping you, they're not going to help you. Even if you are that sister, even if you are that brother. But we are the children of God, and his help is divine, and he's going to help us. Because he cannot deny himself. Amen. 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 Then he dealt with him in the second chapter. Be strong in grace. Be strong in grace. Because you're going to need the grace of God to help you in the congregation of your people. People are people. They were people, people back there. They're still people, people today. They're the same. They have not changed. We're going to have good ones, and then we're going to have those that want to lead to their own understanding and do what they want to do. You're going to have op there was opposition back there. You have an opposition today. But you be strong. You do what God tells you to do. You follow God and not man. You follow the people. Don't be a people pleaser. Because that's what got King Saul in trouble, being a people pleaser. Don't be a people pleaser. You please God and what I have called you to do. You be faithful in doing what I call you to do. Not the, not the church down the street, but the church through the world. You be faithful, darling. You be faithful here. Right. Amen. And what I've assigned the work in your hands to do, because God has assigned the work for all of our hands to do in the kingdom of God. And where he has planted us. And we got to be faithful about that work. Mm -hmm. Then he told him, turn away from evil. Hold fast to the truth. They go into the bathroom. We got to hold fast to the word of God. Everything will pass away, but the word of God will not pass away. Amen. They will not pass away. Amen. We have to hold fast to the truth. We have to stay focused. And there's a whole lot of distractions that come our way yes. to hinder us from being faithful. That's what the distractions are. They come from the enemy. You got to know the tactics of the enemy. You got to know the plots and the schemes. Ain't nothing new. If you read, we read the Old Testament, the same thing he was doing back then, he's doing today. That's right. Amen. To cause us to be distracted. To 
called us to fall away from fall from following God. But we have to be focused. And that's why we are commanded to read the word of God, to know the word of God. And to lean on the Holy Spirit. Because Jesus said he was our help. And he would guide us into all truth. That's his job. And he told him, keep yourself pure. Keep yourself pure. Don't get caught up in a whole lot of babblings and fables and all of this stuff. Don't get caught up in a whole lot of false teaching. Having each itching ears, uh, running to hear this one and running to hear that one. You got to know who you're listening to. And you got to know what you are reading. If 